Blake's. I like hey Scoob. Did you hear Nikki Blake is hosting a Scooby Doo panel? No. Yeah. Like on today's Scooby Doo episode, Scooby Doo and Shaggy meet Nikki Blake. Yeah, in a Scooby panel. <laughs> Like we need to get this puppy started. Yeah, okay, Nikki Blake, take it away, Scooby Doo. <laughs> Welcome to the Scooby panel. I'm your host, Nikki Blake from ScoobyAddicts.com, and today we are talking about Scooby Doo Christmas merchandise. Before we begin, I'll have everyone introduce themselves, and Wendy will start with you. Hi guys, I'm Wendy Bridge. I'm a commission artist. I've been collecting Scooby for over 30 years. And even though he's not going to make a formal appearance, we are also going to mention because it is Christmas and Nikki's Grinch heart is growing three sizes bigger right now. Merry Christmas from Scrappy. And now I promise I'll put him away. Joel. Merry Christmas, everyone. I am Joel from the YouTube channel Plan Scooby. We're celebrating Christmas by talking about Scooby-Doo Christmas merchandise. And this is fun because there's so much Scooby Christmas merchandise. There's the Nutcracker, which everybody loves. The Angel Tree Topper, something else that everyone loves. Wrapping paper, greeting cards, plush. There's blow molds. There's books. There's so much stuff. So we have a lot to talk about. Obviously not every single piece, but get there. <laughs> Wendy, what are your thoughts in general on all the Scooby Christmas merchandise? I'm so glad that there's actually so much of it. I feel like in certain areas, Scooby merch is kind of lacking, but the Christmas department happily is not one of them. There is a ton of older, I mean, I'm still not to the point where I'm going to say that like the 90s or the 2000s is vintage, like get out of here with that, like vintage is 70s and prior, okay, that's just the way, that's just, I don't make the rules, that's the way it is, so I'm not going to say vintage, but 90s, 2000s, lots of Christmas stuff, and still today they are making a ton of Christmas stuff for Scooby, and I think that that's fantastic, it's my favorite holiday, it's my favorite time of the year, minus the snow, of course, um, but yeah, Scooby and Christmas, perfect pairing. And I don't know that I've seen an ugly piece of Christmas Scooby merch. There's regular Scooby merch and I look at it and I think, Ugh, I don't, how did that get past quality control? I don't know who designed that. But I feel like all of the Christmas stuff is really, really good. And I think everybody's goal should be to have just like every Scooby Christmas piece and like have a Christmas display of just Scooby but like every single one, because I feel like of everything, that is probably an attainable goal that you could conceivably collect all of the Christmas, uh, Christmas Scooby merch in your lifetime. I think you could find it and I think you could get it. And that's a new goal for 2025, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I think that's probably possible. Maybe the ornaments would be a little difficult because I don't know if there is like I'm trying to put them all on Scooby Museum but mm -hmm. there are ones that I don't even know exist so yeah. until we have a complete list that might the ornament part of it might be difficult mm. Joel what are your thoughts on in general on the Scooby Christmas merchandise yeah it's pretty awesome I was on Scooby Museum today looking at all the cool stuff out there and you know, what's awesome about it is if you're a Scooby fan and your friends or family, they don't really know Scooby too well, it's just a no-brainer to pick up Scooby gifts for everyone because it's just Christmas-based. It's out for the season. It's an easy buy, and you benefit at Christmas time. It's just awesome. Joel, what is this thing behind you that is flashing <laughs> different things? <laughs> it's a little, like... Um, television thing and I just threw some Christmas stuff on there there's some Scooby stuff on there it just shows gifts oh, okay it's really cool I, I just cool. noticed it during the intro so oh, okay <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to talk about the Hallmark ornaments because there are so many of them and I don't know how many I did try to look that up and I I did not find a number um we did 
interview Anita Mara Rogers, who is a Hallmark keepsake artist. That was episode 16 of the Scooby panel, which also happened to be released on her birthday, which was totally just a coincidence. But she talked about designing the Hallmark ornaments. So if you want to learn anything about them, you can check that panel out. Um, I also put together a video of all of the ornaments that she created, which is also part of that panel. But there are other Hallmark or artists who have created Scooby-Doo ornaments as well. I personally love the Hallmark ornaments. I think they're really cool and I love that they release them every year. We used to get two, now we're getting one. I would like them to go back to two. But at the same time, I feel like some of the ornaments are just so similar. We got this year's Christmas ornament with Scooby-Doo with a Santa hat holding a cookie that looked like the mystery machine. It is almost identical to the Walmart ornament from 2020. Scooby is just in a little bit of a different position. His coloring is a little bit different. And then there's some other ornaments that are also very similar. Scooby's in the same position, but whatever's with him is different. And I'd really like to see them do different things with Scooby and not keep reusing the same pose for him. The other thing that I would like to see is the gang and the villains. At this point, we should have a full body ornament of each of the gang members. And I can't believe that we don't have that because I feel like that is just a no-brainer. Even if they released it as a five-piece set, it should exist. And there's so many great villains. They've used a couple, but there's so many great villains that they could make some really cool ornaments with. And I'd really like them to... I, I love Scooby. He's my favorite of all the gang. But I really want them to branch out a little and make us some different things. We have a ton of mystery machine ornaments as well. They they kind of overdo that. And, and that they just like one year there's a tree on top, another year it's presents. It's but I love the Hallmark ornaments, like don't get me wrong. They're they're amazing. <laughs> Joel, what are your thoughts on the Scooby Hallmark ornaments? Yeah, I love them too. Um I'm obviously a fan of the villains, so I'd love to see more villains come out. I, I don't mind that they repeat just because it gives me a chance to buy some that I might have missed out on. They're tougher to buy or get in Canada. So maybe if they release two, maybe like um, a reissue or a retake on a reissue. And then maybe something brand new would be awesome. Um, but yeah, it's really exciting every year. It's something to look forward to when those come out just to see what's going to be out. And I'd like to see, yeah, the ones you're missing on Scooby Museum as well. Yeah, at some point, I don't even have this year's on there. I have the Walmart one from 2020, but I still didn't put this year's on. So I am I am going to work on, I'm actually working on my Scooby tree. I'm changing it a little. So as I do that, the ornaments that I have that I don't have on the museum yet will be put on the museum. Wendy, what are your thoughts on the Scooby Hallmark ornaments? They're really neat. They're nicely sculpted. A lot of them are very basic. Like you mentioned, there have been a few times where we've gotten something a little more elaborate. Uh, there's one, I think, with a green ghost. There's one with, uh, it's the unmasking of Redbeard. Really, really neat. Just branching out and doing something more than just, oh, here's a generic Scooby holding a candy cane, holding a cookie, holding, and you know, enter for X. They're cute, but they're really basic. Biggest problem with Hallmark ornaments, though, they are very expensive for what they are. So unpopular opinion, there are the Hallmark ornaments that you get at the Hallmark store, but then there are the Hallmark ornaments that you get at Walmart. I have no idea. Are they the same company? I, I don't know. I don't know what that is, but I personally think that the ones that are at Walmart are a thousand times nicer than the ones you get at Hallmark. They're made out of that kind of like rubbery 
tactile plastic as opposed to that like smooth doesn't weigh anything kind of plastic they're typically bigger than the standard hallmark ornaments and to me they are just always way more creative and fun my favorite hallmark non-hallmark whatever you want to call it ones is this little flocked scooby and he was only like seven dollars I mean, regular Hallmark ornaments now for your most basic one is like in Canada anyway, like $25, $30. I mean, come on. That's like, it's, it's getting ridiculous for what it is. I don't feel like the quality is living up to the price point. But these, like this, look at, look at him. Compared to, and this is one of my favorites. Here's a traditional Hallmark Scooby. Is there a comparison though? And this one's like three times the price? Yeah, I don't know. So this kind of Hallmark ornament, I think is a lot nicer because they are way more creative. That's not to say that, you know, the regular ones aren't good. I think the earlier ones were better. That's an early one, like a regular Hallmark one. Really elaborate, lots of fun. You know, so I kind of would like to see them Maybe just be a little more creative. Maybe we don't necessarily need Scooby holding something again, or like you say, the umpteenth doesn't mystery machine. There's lots of fun stuff that you can do with Scooby for Christmas. So maybe regular Hallmark, take a page out of whatever your cheaper Hallmark is, because I think that they're doing it like a little bit better. There's a company, I think it's called Trevco. Mm -hmm. And they make some really nice Scooby ornaments. Yes. I just true. got one off of, I want to say, Mercari. Maybe not. It was one of the, uh, no, it was Offer Up. And it's Scooby in a train that's painted like the mystery machine. Nice. It's really cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like stuff like that is what I expect Hallmark to do. Yes. But I do feel like, like everything else, their prices are going up and their ornaments are getting smaller. What is your favorite Christmas merchandise, Wendy? Well, obviously that Nutcracker, he is, he's like right at the top of the list. I did manage to get the little miniature version, who is pretty cute. And he does actually like his mouth opens and stuff. <gasps> you got him! What? <laughs> what was so does this him. carefully guarded secret? <laughs> have you been I have saving not, it for this? I have not said that I got him, but yes, I got him. <laughs> Yay! Look at I got him for $25. Whoa. He didn't have a box, which is fine. But yes, $25, and he's in very good condition. Wow. He does have a piece of Blue's hair on him, though. <laughs> Other than that, he's in great condition. <laughs> he's amazing. That's the end for $25. I mean, wow. That's awesome. Yeah. Also, maybe better that he didn't have the box, because if he had the box, you might want to leave him in it. But that is a take it out of the box item, yeah. I think. Yeah, for definitely. Sure. Runner up, definitely the Angel Tree Topper Scooby. Shout out to Derek getting me this one did a little swap a few years ago because he's very neat um he weighs nothing because obviously he's hollow inside but such a fun i mean i don't know that i would ever put it on top of my christmas tree obviously if i had a scooby tree yes but my regular tree probably not but see we're we're matching my <laughs> angel outfit um yeah he's him and the nutcracker i think definitely belong at the top Definitely cannot have Christmas favorites without a good old Nutcracker Scoob VHS tape. Because, like, there's your childhood right there. Box art's cool. The episode is cool. Love that. Um, there are also a number of Warner Brothers Studio Store ornaments that I would consider to be iconic Christmas Scooby ornaments that are really cool. There's ones with Scrappy. I love the one with Scooby in the sleigh and Scrappy's like trailing behind. That one is on my wish list. Um, the stocking holder is another one that I think is a really nice piece that is strangely expensive to try and get one now. Um, 
But of course, we cannot mention Christmas Scooby and Warner Brothers Studio Stores without talking about the beanies. Mm. Christmas Scooby beanies. Look, I'm he. Oh, geez. He's so cute. I can't stand it. I love him. And the little snowman, of course. Nikki's got one, the little adorable nutcracker. Wish they'd done a little bit more with this one. He's a tiny bit plain. I don't know what they could have given him, but like maybe some bells or something. A red nose, maybe. Oh, oh that would I might have to give mine a red nose now. That's perfect. <laughs> and of course, a little Santa. Look it. Like this. They make a lot of Scooby merch right now, but honestly, none of it compares to like what they were doing in the 90s. I, I, there are no words for this, okay? This is like, I'm six years old yeah. and I'm thrilled. This is like, like throw them up in the air. Imagine like one of those ball pits for kids, only it's just Scooby beanies. All the there kids are, stay the heck out, okay? There are enough of them that you could probably fill an entire ball pit. I think... I think that you could absolutely. Um, snow globes. There's a ton of snow globes. I have just this this one here, but it's adorable. It, I don't know. I I don't again. Like I said, I don't know that there's any Christmas stuff that I don't love. But the Nutcracker, the Tree Topper, and collectively the Scooby Beanies. I think those are my my favorite Scooby Christmas items. Joel, what are your favorite Scooby Christmas items? I don't have much to add because I enjoyed everything Wendy said. Um, one from our list definitely that I'd love would be the stocking holder. And then when I was on Scooby Museum, I saw the peace blocks. It's like Scooby and these peace blocks. I thought it was really cool. I love the blow up stuff. Um, I would never buy it because... They kind of die, and I'm just frugal and cheap and Scottish, and I'd be period with it. But I love seeing it on people's lawns when I'm out. Or if I go into in Canada with Canadian Tire, they have them blown up already, the the Scooby blow-up things. So love seeing that. Um, yeah, that's my three. The inflatables do die. They get really kind of pathetic after a while. Um, I don't put mine outside anymore. Sometimes I do blow them up in the house. Not often, but sometimes. Um, but yeah, I had, they made them the six foot tall ones. There was a Christmas one and a Halloween one. And those two definitely are no longer standing upright anymore. So when it, when I, if I would blow them up, I would have to use fishing line or something to hold them up because like they blow up but they just kind of like droop down so his face is in on the ground and he just looks so sad <laughs> <laughs> so my favorite scooby merchandise is my scooby tree because i love my scooby tree it has like 90 some ornaments on it it has a tree skirt that I got off of Etsy that is Scooby and my Mighty Star Scooby puppet is the tree topper because I don't yet have the angel. I want him, but I haven't been able to find him for a decent price. So someday when I do find that, I will I will get it for a decent price. Uh, there are a few ornaments that I don't put on my tree because they're glass and the dog wags his tail and sometimes like bumps into the tree and I don't want glass ornaments to fall off of the tree and break. Yeah. Other than that, the, the nutcracker is one of my favorite things. He's really cool. I didn't realize how cool he was until I got him, but he's just so cool. And I do want the nutcracker ornament, which I'll eventually get that too. Yes. What is your favorite piece of Scooby merchandise that you got for Christmas? It does not have to be Christmas related, just something that you got for Christmas. Joel? Easy one for me. You can see it. It's Charlie the Robot, the mask. Aww. 
Sweet. That's so nice. <laughs> Wendy? Okay, I cheated. I have more than one item, but I have a good reason for it. I have a good reason for it. Number one, though, is 2002 Jemmy snoring Scooby. Not only is he super sweet and adorable, but this is something that my dad managed to surprise me with, which, yeah, we don't really do surprises here and we never have because we're always together and we shop together and we do all these things together. And the fact that he somehow managed to get this at the store and I didn't see it at the store and I didn't see it here and he didn't say anything because we both have loose lips when we get something cool for the other one. So my dad completely surprised me with him and he does still work if I can find his button. Oh, he's so cute. He's very cute. So <laughs> I definitely love him. And I did get him for Christmas in 2002. And two other items that actually just arrived that I got from my friend Megan for this Christmas that I'm super excited about. I don't actually know what this is, but it's pretty cool. So it's this little sort of house. It comes with a bunch of trees that you can set up with it, but it also has these tiny little gang figures. Oh, they're cute. Now this one is missing the Scooby, if there is a Scooby. I'm assuming there was a Scooby at one time, but Daphne? I think I have those. And yeah, like I said, I'm not sure what, know what, what it actually for. is. And these little guys, and of course, Velma. And, and even Nikki won't be able to help herself. Look at this teeny scrappy. Oh my God. <laughs> Isn't he cute? Come on, look at him. It's pretty adorable. <laughs> yeah, and they all fit with this little cute little sort of Polly Pocket like house. So that was awesome. And then very appropriate for our Christmas panel. This little guy. Nice. This actually just arrived today at like five o'clock at my door. I'm like, oh. oh my gosh, did I order something and I forgot about it? But no. <laughs> so thank you to Megan and Tim for these wonderful Scooby Christmas items for this Christmas. Definitely bumped up to the top of my list for my favorite things that I got for Christmas. Nice. <laughs> so my favorite is my Scooby Attic sign from Wendy. Aww. It's so cool. And I love it so much. It's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Runner up to that, sorry, is the advent calendar that Mike got me last year. It's a puzzle calendar. So each day I put together 25 to 50 pieces of the puzzle. And the puzzle was the my favorite drawing by Bob Singer. It's called Graveyard Cafe. And I love it. It's so cool. Bob Singer is amazing. He is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Is there <laughs> Scooby Christmas merchandise that you want to add to your collection? I know I didn't have this as one of the questions, but I'm just curious. Joel? It's, so it's not the next question. Is there Scooby merchandise that I want to add that already exists? Yeah. Already exists? Uh, yeah, probably the, the stocking holder, mm -hmm. for sure. And the when you mentioned the Captain, not Captain Cutler, was, was it Captain? No, Redbeard. Redbeard ornament. Redbeard. Yeah. And there's another villain ornament, too, wasn't there, with Involved the painting? Yes. Was that the creeper? Creeper, yeah. Yeah, and it was like a... It was holographic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know where it is. I'll keep it at three. Those are the three that I'd love to add. And the piece. Oh, there's ball. a Captain Cutler, too. I have Captain Cutler. Oh, good. And I got... It's behind me somewhere. The green ghost. And I got the green ghost. Oh, I see that one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I, can't, I can't even see either of them, and I'm right here. <laughs> So when is four. it? Yeah. Four. All right. Hey, that's fine. You, I mean, you can add as many as you want. No, I mean, there's four ornaments, but uh, with villains. I'm just yeah. talking. When you go, <laughs> Wendy, <laughs> what Christmas <laughs> merchandise would you like to add to your collection? Yeah. Okay. 
So for sure, the nutcracker and the stocking holder, um, that little piece block that Joel mentioned, someone randomly, I don't know, yesterday or the day before messaged me and was like, hey, your collection's really cool. And I saw this on eBay and maybe you'd love to add it. And I'm like, wow, yeah, it's really, really cool. I mean, it's out of my budget given the shipping to Canada, uh, but definitely for the future, that is a really cool one. And the, um, unlike it's very similar to this one but the one where they're like in the sleigh and scrappy's like trailing along behind there's also a really cool plush advent calendar mm -hmm. with like scooby's head at the top and then it's a red i think it's a red felt and then it has like the little doors and stuff on it it's also really really nice would love to get that sometime um there's also i don't know who makes it because i only just saw it the other day pop up but it's a big Scooby dressed like Santa. And I don't know if it moves or it says stuff, but it's really neat. Uh, and it is like mostly plush. It's not like I've, a few years ago when we did a panel and I mentioned this super expensive, like sculpted Santa Scooby with all this food and stuff. This one's different. He is like in a like fabric outfit and, he, and he's dressed like Santa and he has like a plush face. He's really, really neat. Um, and honestly, any, any Scooby Christmas merch that, the the, 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 uh, blow mold Scooby that they have at Cracker Barrel right now is really, really neat. Yeah. And anything, honestly, but those are probably the top. Yeah. So I would like them to make an official advent calendar with like little figures in it or something, something other than just stickers and yeah, you know, I want it to be really cool. I would also like a Santa hat that has Scooby ears. Oh, cute. Because I just think that'd be really cute. And I was looking online because I was just looking up like just random Christmas merchandise that exists because I'm like, well, maybe there's something that I'll see that would be really cool if it was Scoobified. Thomas Kincaid makes this crystal snowman figure and inside the body of it is a winter village and then around the bottom is a train and I think it would be really cool if there was a crystal Scooby figure where like in in his body was a haunted mansion and a scene with the gang and you know some bats and full moon and all that and then around the bottom could be the mystery machine. And I just think that that would be really cool. So that is what I would like to see. Because I think... I think it would be fun. I think it would be a lot of fun. So, yeah. So whoever can make crystal things, I would like you to do that. It would be good. What are your final thoughts on Scooby-Doo Christmas merchandise? Joel? I wish we had a Cracker Barrel up here so I could buy all the cool stuff they come out with Christmas and other seasons. Yeah. Um, I clearly need to get more Scooby Christmas stuff. It's a work in progress. It'll happen eventually. That's all when I got. <laughs> when are your final thoughts? <laughs> Well, a special shout out to one of the nicest Christmas items and just Scooby items in general. The Macy's, what is he, like 2005 about that? This beautiful Macy's plush. I do have like a cute little 97 Scooby in a, in a Christmas box pin on him. But this is like the softest Scooby known to mankind. He's a very, very cute one of my favorite pieces, but definitely a Christmas must-have. Um, more Scooby Christmas merch. I mean, there's a lot of it already, but I say, why not put out more? And we don't have to wait until Christmas time, really, to have that. I don't know why we can't just, you know, July. Here's a fun Scooby, you know? Here's Nutcracker Scoob figures. That would be great. Here's a plush Scrappy dressed like the Sugar Plum Fairy. I mean, I guess I could make that myself, to be perfectly honest. And maybe I'll do that for next Christmas and I'll send it to Nikki. Um, <laughs> and 
And then it'll be featured in next year's Christmas panel as Nikki's favorite Scooby <laughs> thing that she got for Christmas that year. <laughs> it could be just because it would be made by you. Not I because it's scrappy. That would be a convenient excuse for you to say that you like it only because of that. When we all know the truth, which is <laughs> like, maybe just like a little bit. He's okay. <laughs> but no, yes. Christmas Scoobies for everybody. More Christmas Scoobies. If you see a Christmas Scooby and it's cheap, pick it up. Because they get really, really expensive for no good reason. And uh, yeah, but like Nikki showed us tonight, you can still find bargains for cool Christmas stuff. So be on the lookout for those. Yeah, we definitely need more Scooby Christmas merch, but good stuff. Like not just the same thing made over and over. Like a great idea would be a set of Nutcracker figures that's one for each of the gang. Wendy made a Daphne Nutcracker and it's incredibly awesome. So <laughs> if we could just have them make a whole set of the gang, I mean, how cool would that be? More Scooby Christmas merchandise. The future will be brighter. <laughs> We're going to wrap things up before we do let everyone know where they can find you on social media. Wendy. On Instagram, I'm Wendy bridge and Twitter. Wendy loves Jesus. My blog is Wendy loves Jesus. Wordpress.com. And one more Christmas scrappy for Nikki. Yay. Everyone send Nikki Merry Christmas and a picture of scrappy. Please. Wow. I wonder <laughs> if anyone will actually do that. I'm going to do it. <laughs> Joel. You can find me on YouTube. Just type in Plant Scooby. And you can find all my links on scoobyaddicts.com. Let us know your favorite Christmas Scooby merchandise. And thank you for joining us for another Scooby panel. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Oh, quick side note before I go. Meant to mention this on the panel. As soon as you said Santa hat with Scooby ears, I was like, how cool would it be to have a blue Santa hat with Scooby ears, a red Santa hat with gray dumb ears, and a pink Santa hat with white Scooby D ears. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. that, that is what I'm leaving everybody with. Yeah. That, that idea, because I would, I would be, I may start looking for colored hats to uh, DIY some stuff. Oh, the other thing I forgot to write down that I was thinking about before was to have Santa hats that, like, for each each gang member mm -hmm. oh, so that'd like be fun do blue do. but somehow incorporate the ascot and do mm -hmm. purple but somehow incorporate whatever mm -hmm. me. i don't know give it Green, a like big a i don't know <laughs> 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 oh gosh <laughs> see they just need to like hire us to consult on all of their future merchandise creations or watch the panels and just steal our idea. That, I mean, absolutely. whatever. Like, we're fine with that as long as we get the stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. All good. Yep. I'd be down with that. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in to another Scooby panel. I'm Nikki Blake from ScoobyAddicts.com. If you like these panels, please subscribe to my channel for more great discussions. A huge shout out to our patrons. Julie Rosen. Ross from ScoobyFan.net. Tagus. Garrett Spencer. Paul the Scooby Dude and Jesse. If you would like to support the Scooby panel, please go to patreon.com slash scoobyaddicts. A very special thank you to artist, blogger, and Scooby collector Wendy Bridge and Joel from Planet Scooby. Scooby panel is available in podcast form on most podcast platforms or as a web series on YouTube. You can find Scooby panel on Instagram, Facebook, and X as at Scooby panel. We are part of the Collector's Maze Network, where you can find all things geek. Scooby and Shaggy were voiced by Scott Ennis. Check out Scott's website, onescottshop.com. Scooby Addicts artwork by Will Davenport. Scooby panel logo by Garrett Spencer. Video editing by Nikki Blake. Music composed and performed by Bovine Nightmares. Please join us next time for another Scooby panel.